This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, Dungeon 3, and welcome back to another Manuoc tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get your Discord.js bot up and running on a VPS. What you will need for this tutorial is a VPS. We're gonna be using one from Oxide Hosting, which they kindly provided us for this episode. You of course need your bot with all the code. You'll need an SSH client like Putty, but for this tutorial, I will be using something else. Last but not least, you will need FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP client which, which also allows us to use FTP over SSH so we don't have to mess around with FTP servers on our VPS. So let's get to the computer and start with transferring our bot to the server. So right now we're arrived on the desktop and the first thing that we want to do is open up FileZilla. As you can see in FileZilla, I already navigated to the folder that I have the Discord bot in and I've already set it up so it works locally. To transfer it to the server, the first thing that we would have to do is go to the email you got from Oxide if you ordered your VPS there. And for security purposes, I removed the main IP address and I stuck it on this host name. This is an optional step that you don't have to do. But, but what I can do right now is paste in the host name in the host field. In your case, this would probably be the server's IP address. The username will be root. The password will be the password over here in the email. And the port will be 22. Right now we click on quick connect. Yes, update this key. And as you can see, it loaded up the server. These are the files that are already on the server and you should not touch these at all. What, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new directory and I'm gonna choose the option, create directory and enter it. The directory name is going to be bot. So now it's created the directory. And in this directory, I want to upload the commands folder, the events folder, the util folder, the botconfig.json file, the colors.json file, the index.js, and the package.json. It is very important that you don't upload this node modules folder because this node modules folder is absolutely huge and it will take hours for it to be uploaded. So when all your files are uploaded, we can close the connection with FileZilla and close FileZilla itself. What you want to do next is go over to your SSH client. I will be using the built-in client of my computer. And to check if you have a built-in SSH client in your computer, you can type SSH and press enter in your command prompt or terminal or whatever it's called on your computer. As you can see, I have SSH on my computer. So what I can do is SSH root at vps.menu.docs.com org this means that the username is root and we're going to go to and the server that we're connecting to is vps.menudocs.org so well if we have entered these credentials we're going to hit enter i said we're going to hit enter we're, we're going to trust the key yes we're going to trust the key we're going to paste in the password that i have on my clipboard and voila we're on the server right now if we type ls you can see that the bot is over there and if we change directory to cd to bot, we can list all our things there. So right now we're missing our node modules folder, but we also haven't installed node.js yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. In this text file, I have a few commands that you need to run. This text file will be linked in the description of the video. So the first thing that we need to run is sudo apt install curl and software properties common. So we're gonna paste this in and hit enter. When we press enter, it asks us if we really want to continue with installing this. We're gonna press enter to say yes. And as you can see, it failed. So if this failed, what you wanna run is sudo apt up, 
update. And once you run sudo apt update, you should be able to install the things fine. Now that the installation is finished, we can run the following command. And this command will install a repository for us so that we can install Node.js. In this case, it will be the Node.js 11 repository. So now that is done, we can run sudo apt install node.js. And of course we will continue. So right now we will verify that node.js is installed by typing node-v. And as you can see, we have node.js 11.14 installed, which is the latest version of 11 at the time of recording. Next up, we want to check the npm version, so npm-v, and you can see we have npm version 7. So right now that we make sure that we are in the bot directory, we can run npm install. npm install will read our package.json and it will install discord.js, etc. So now if we check the directory listing, you can see our node modules folder is there. So if we type node index.js, it will boot up our bot and it says docs JDA is online. And if we go to Discord and we type J exclamation mark ping, because J exclamation mark is the prefix that I use for my bot, you can see that it works fine and we have the bot that Comer made in the Discord.js tutorials. Of course, we're gonna shut it down so that the bot will shut down. But there's one problem with running it like this. And that is that if you close the terminal, it will shut the bot down. To keep the bot running in the background, we need a process manager. And for Node.js, you have the process manager PM2. And you install PM2 with the following command. sudo npm install pm2 at latest-g. So if we hit enter, it will now install PM2. So right now that PM2 is installed, we can run from the directory that our bot is in, PM2 start index.js. This will boot up PM2. And as you can see, it now started up and it says we have ID zero. So if we type PM, PM2, show and then id 0 you can see it shows us all kinds of information including the log file where you will find the logs from our bot because right now our bot is just running fine if we do jx mark cat it shows us our cat command unfortunately the stop command will not work with pm2 so to stop it you type pm2 stop and then the process id which is zero in our case but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to log out from the server, exit the terminal, and right now our bot. And now our bot is working perfectly fine without us having to leave the terminal open. This will run 24/7 and without any inter without any interaction needed. So that's how to run your bot. 24 7 on a VPS. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to ManuDocs if you haven't already. And I see you guys in another video on ManuDocs. Bye! Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. I wrote the song, but I am the messenger. Through the metropolis, there is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate, light up the candles.